What's good, YouTube? This is Mag Dog TV. We back with another one. I'm here right now, live in Indy, as you guys know, at the Lucas Oil Stadium 2024 National Scouting Combine to cover Xavier Weaver. Unfortunately, Xavier Weaver did not perform at the National Scouting Combine. We're gonna get to that in a second, so let's get to it. The 2024 National Football League Scouting Combine began on February 26th all the way up to March the 3rd. As you guys know, I'm only here between now, which is March the 2nd, but I've been here ever since February the 28th. And just to cover uh, Colorado Buffalo wide receiver Xavier Weaver. Xavier Weaver did not participate in any of the events. He is expected, expected to be injured. There's people saying that he's injured. Um, allegedly, that's why he didn't participate. And he's going to participate in the Pro Day, which will be coming up sometime in March. Xavier Weaver is a hell of a football player. This is a great opportunity, in my opinion, for him to come out and showcase his talents. But when you're injured, you know, there's no reason to push through. There's other big timers that didn't participate Caleb Williams I mean Marvin Harrison the, the, obviously the top three wide receivers projected from NFL scouts did not participate in any of the events so with Xavier Weaver not participating it doesn't hurt his chances as far as being drafted I feel like his uh his film does the talking he can play the game of football at the end of the day obviously the combine would have definitely helped him a lot considering um, the performance from the other wide receivers, in my personal opinion, the fastest wide receiver ran a 4.38, if I'm not mistaken. But obviously, my main uh, my main interest was to cover Xavier Weaver. So I really wasn't paying too much attention as far as the wide receivers. I was just there specifically just to support Xavier Weaver. As you guys know, that's my main reason for actually going is to give him 100% of support. But I did get a chance to see him out there on the football field, you know what I'm saying, and, and everything like that. So it was surreal. I was able to meet a lot of people, man, NFL films, NFL Network. I saw Reggie Wayne, Jerry Rice, some of the greatest players to ever play the game. Caleb Williams, you know, who was expected to be the, the next big thing. Bo Nix, J.J. McCarthy. I mean, seeing all of these guys, I mean, I can't. Even, I can go on and on. We ain't even talking about, you know, Coach Harbaugh, who's now going to be coaching for the Chargers. You know, I was able to see him. Doug Peterson, you guys know I'm an Eagles fan, but I was able to see him sitting right behind me. You know what I'm saying? So it was surreal. That was an amazing experience being able to just be here, seeing this in this setting. And um, the sky's the limit, man, for Xavier Weaver and the rest of those future football players, man. So I just want to thank all of you, man, all my, my fan base, my subscribers, my supporters. You guys have definitely supported me along this journey. First year actually covering the National Football League Scouting Combine, so everything was new to me as far as how I want to do everything, as far as when to go live, how to get on the football field. As you guys know, I wasn't able to get on the football field, but I have been educated on how I can actually get on the field this time next year. As you guys know, we will probably have at least 10 Colorado Buffalo football players at Lucas Oil Stadium right here where I'm sitting at right now. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to make sure I get everything in check right now so the next time, this time next year, I can actually get on the football field rather than sitting in the stands. I was able to connect with a lot of people as far as NFL Network and all of those guys, man. I just want to also give shout outs to them as well just for giving me so much knowledge on this first year event for me and mag dog tv man but more importantly i just want to thank all of you i want to also wish xavier weaver all the best as far as his future endeavors as he get ready to take his chances to uh pursue the nfl dream and um you know that's why i said before man at the end of the day i'm here now i wasn't able to get an interview with him because the way they got the thing set up as far as nfl go um i didn't even know that they actually had interviews before today you know what i'm saying after the combine workouts those guys go off and do other things so uh, when you actually in the stadium and you in the stands you can't get on the field so regardless I wouldn't have been able to get up on Xavier Weaver uh, but I'm sure he already has seen my videos I'm sure he's been aware you know what I'm saying that Magdal TV community not just me the community all of you that's that's a part of this channel is all in with the Xavier Weaver that's no question about it he already know 100% this community is behind him no doubt about it you know what I'm saying I came here three days before my birthday which is March the 6th just to cover 
Xavier Weaver. So that says enough in itself. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the workouts and Xavier Weaver future and the rest of the guys. He ain't the only one. You have Jordan Dominic, Roderick Ward, and the rest of those guys, man, getting the opportunity to showcase their talents, man. All of them, you know, I wish them all the best. And if you guys like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Peace.